Welcome back to another math lesson. Still combining amps and math. Ignore the fact that I'm recording this super late at night, um, which is exactly what I told you guys not to do. Um, but it was a busy day and a busy week, and it just got away from me. So all you can do is do better next time. So I will get back into a better routine this week. Um, hopefully I'm not in the same boat and we all make mistakes, but you know, let me know. I would say if this was on YouTube or something, I would say like put it in the chat, but maybe one day I'll get it where you guys can chat. Okay, let's jump into our lesson today, surface area pyramids. This lesson volume is Wednesday, review is Friday. I already made the weekly calendar and I posted it, so hopefully you can see that. Um, for science, I have to go back and put a bunch of links. For math, I just have to put a few links. So um, hopefully that new weekly format is going to look good. Okay, so surface area of pyramids, just like if you were in, you know, I think sixth grade social studies, they talk about the Great Pyramids. It's just making the point at the top. Um, so we'll get into that. Um, I have the practice problems, the link to the YouTube right here, um, so you can see it on the slides, but just the answers. If you want to look at how I did my work, pause it um, so that you can see, and you can pause it on this one, and you can pause it on this one. If you have questions, make sure that you're emailing me or coming to my office hours every day from 1 to 2. Okay, so let's put this up there. So a pyramid, a 3D figure that has a base of a polygon, we are only going to be talking about rectangular pyramids. Um, so all of the bases is going to be a rectangle. Um, this is a picture of what they look like. And let's just kind of talk about what the different, I'll go back. Um, so the base is the bottom, it's not pointing to this front side, it's pointing to the bottom, and then the apex is just where they come together. Um, we're also going to talk about this thing called slant height, and it's just how tall, like you can see kind of how tall it is um, leaning, and so it's literally exactly what it sounds like, a slanted height. So if you were standing up, like getting the doctor to take your height, and she told you, okay, now slant. It'd be leaning over. So surface area, normally how much covers the shape? Um, to find surface area of a pyramid is how much it would it take to cover the entire pyramid. Um, so we're gonna do one half base times height since it's made out of triangles, and then the base is a rectangle, so length times width. Same thing that we've been doing. Okay, don't you like the color coding? I think it's really helpful. So I just wanna point out like before we switch over, like this is the slant height I was talking about, the orange line and then the teal line. The orange line is the slant height for this front triangle and it has a matching triangle on the back of it. And then this one right here, um, the slant height is 11 and the base is eight and it has a matching triangle over here. Oh, I'm sorry, please excuse my yawning. Okay. Let's get into this. So let's do this first problem. So we have four triangles, four different sides, four triangles, and then the base. So just kind of like how we talked about before in that net, if you were to flatten this out, it almost looks like, like a flower. Is that what a flower looks like? I don't know. But in this case, like 12, eight so we know this is 12 and this is eight like if we look at the base of it so then like we could see the different heights um with the 12 is going 10 so this one is also 10 and then this one is 11 11. so we're finding four triangles and then the rectangular base so for the triangle we'll do one half base times height We'll do one half, we'll do this front one. The base is 12, the height is 10. So a half of 12 is six, and then six times 10 is 60. Um, and there are two of those, so we get 120. 
So again, two triangles. Okay, um, we'll do the other triangle, one half base times height. So one half eight times 11. So that's four times 11 is 44 times two, 88. Okay, so now we have the triangles taken care of. If I went through that too fast, just back it up a little, but we're just looking at normal triangles. So for instance, this triangle, what it really just looks like is a base of 12 and then a height of 10. So it's just pretend like that shape isn't even there. Just look at a normal triangle, one half base times height. Same thing for this side triangle, okay? So then our last shape, the rectangle is length times width or 12 times eight. Let me add it together. Okay, so it's 120 plus 88 plus 96. We get 304. So 304, 304 meters. Surface area equals, sorry. Ooh, my printer scared me. <laughs> okay. Let's do number two. Um, this one is a little different. Um, I'll just show you the lines of congruence. So this is just saying that this is actually a square down here at the bottom. So all of these sides are five and they're all the same color. So try to show you that. Excuse me. So that means that all of the front of these triangles are actually the same too. So that means all triangles are the same. So if we do one half base, which is five times the height, which is eight, I'm gonna do one half times eight, which is four, four times five, which is 20. Now there are four of these triangles times four. 80, and then the rectangle, which is length times width. Oh, I've been drawing it again. That's the bottom, which is five times five, which is 25. So then we're just gonna add them together. 80 plus 25. So 105 centimeters squared. Okay. Last one, Miss Ford made this question. Love it, it's so good. So if you didn't print this out, at least you need to draw this picture right here. Okay, I can't really see it because my face is in the way. Okay, I'll read it to you. If you want to copy it in your notes, you can, um, or you can just draw the picture. Wow, I cannot stop yawning, I'm so sorry. Miss Ford's husband Brody was getting bored during quarantine because his wife would not stop recording math videos. <laughs> so he decided to build a mini monument as seen in the picture at the right. Then he decided to paint it. How much paint will he need to cover his beautiful creation? Assume he will not be painting the bottom. Okay, so first we have the triangle sides, but then we also have our rectangular prism. The plus of the rectangular prism and this pyramid is we're not going to be covering the bottom of the pyramid. So one last thing we have to do, we only have to find the four sides. And then we don't have to cover the bottom of the box of the rectangular prism. So again, one last thing we have to do. Um, so let's kind of just start with the triangles. Um, so, I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually the same pyramid that we just did. It has five as the base and then eight as the slant height. So, if we find all the sides of the triangle, is one half base times height, 
or one half base of five, height of eight, half of eight is four, four times five is 20. And then there are four, so it's eight. Okay, so now, since we're not doing this like bottom part and this bottom part, we're really just looking at the four sides. Since this is a box uh, and it's made out of a square, all the rectangles around are the same. So I didn't color code on this one. So if this is 12, then this is 12, and this back here is 12, and this is 12. And then since this is five, then 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 this is five. So if we're gonna do all the sides of the rectangle, it's gonna be length times width or 12 times five, just 60. And then there are four sides, they're all the same. So times four, um, 240, and then we're gonna add those together. So to cover the whole outside, not covering the bottom, would be 320 centimeters squared. Um, so to switch back over, so those were those three problems. Now it's your turn. You can write these down. Ooh. Oh no, there we go. So this one right here, Find the surface area if you need to pause. Okay, and then number two, if you need to pause here. And then number three. Oh, you can't see that number right there. It is 21, this number right here. I guess you can kind of see it. Okay, so so make sure that you've done those three examples, um, put them into your notebook. Um, we're going to go over them at the beginning of Wednesday's lesson. No video lesson tomorrow. I made a quizzes assignment for you um, so that you can do that. Um, a lot of people are tending to not do things the day that I assign them. And it just doesn't, I shouldn't say a lot. There are like 10 people <laughs> that are not doing the quizzes on the same day. And if you are one of those 10 people, just do it the day that I assign it, since then you're not forgetting what I'm teaching you. It's just so much easier that way. Um, office hours, yeah, I have them. Barely anybody's coming. Feel free to join me from one to two every day. Um, make sure you have questions to ask. Just pop in and say hi, either way. Um, check Power School. I am updating it um, Monday, tomorrow, today, technically, because it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'll be updating it later today. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to email me. I hope you guys have a really awesome, awesome, awesome Monday. Bye.